Hello. How's everybody doing? I love this song. The album is uh, called The Missing No Tracks. But um, it's it's got a lot of really great Pokemon remixes, but I think this is my favorite one. Sick voice. No, I'm not sick. I'm, I'm perfectly well, thank you. Yo! Jacket with the raid. I don't have a Nintendo project um, based raid thing, so, uh, one second. Here's a magic car floating across the screen, trying to splash at you and get rid of your raid, but it doesn't work because splash doesn't do anything. This magic carp is entirely ineffective. However, it is trying its best, and we have to we have to accept that fact that you know even if it doesn't do well, as long as it tries its best, that's really what counts. Anyway, thank you for the raid jacket. Hope you're doing well tonight. We'll get started in just a second. I'm totally not uh, stalling because I love this music and I want to listen to it for another two hours. Okay, the song is ending fine. Hello, Spirit of Orin. How are you doing? Let's get Midnight, Jacket, Darkster, Nick. Hello, hello, hello. I should probably turn my game on. <laughs> it tried its very best, and that's what matters. That's right. Fairy Friend, hello, hello. So, um... You guys raised a lot of money. Since I was gone, uh, let's see, when I left it was at 40... 45 or something? 46? But, uh, 6100. I think... I mean, I think we can get to 10,000. But at the very least, I'm pretty sure if we try hard enough, we can get to $6,900. Or 6969. At the very, very least. But, uh, listen, we got this far. We are triple. Oh, baby, a triple. We're a triple our goal. And that is absolutely unbelievable. Like, I don't know. I, I have to see what our past Nintendo Project, Charity Project, uh, totals were all together. But I feel like this, this charity stream is getting close to more than the rest of them combined <laughs> which is insane we did a lot over the years so it's gonna be hard to get to that number i'm pretty sure that number is higher but still it's it's absolutely unbelievable and you people are amazing everybody so far we're not done <laughs> and we total over fifteen thousand. we can break that tomorrow but come on Okay, so, um, but yeah, like, you know, we're not done, so I'm not doing the, uh, the closing thing, but man, like, all the people that have helped out so far, it's, it's been, it's been so nice. Dovius Cable bring over 4,000 donations. Not likely. I'm happy with any little bit that I can do, but, um, I'm just glad that everyone else has been, has been successful, you know? It ain't a competition of who can do the best, it's a competition of how much we can raise as a as a as a group. Show some skin. I'm wearing a t-shirt. You can you can see skin if you're here, but I guess I guess my ranger outfit has some skin. Yeah, it's not a competition. Me and Dylan pulled in 3k in two hours. Y'all ain't got nothing. <laughs> If we all donated one dollar for everything we love about Dovey, we'd have a gajillion dollars. I'd have at least five. I think we'd have at least five. I can- I know- I like- I like my nose. I have a nice nose. As Nick mentioned, during Barry's stream we're donating blood in June. I'm O positive, so CBS loves me. Nice! I am O positive as well, I think, actually. 
for every hundred dollars, Dovey. No, that is way too low to make me curse, Andrew. If we hit twenty thousand dollars before the the, uh, the event ends, I'll think about cursing. See, the problem is we hit six thousand, so I actually have to um, I have to do things now. Uh, I think I promised something at 5,000. I promised something at 6,000. I think at 6,000 we were gonna do Go Rock Calisthenics, weren't we? How much to make you say? Uh, uh, 8,000, I'll say that. Something boring like a bee or something to my. Uh, I don't know. Actually, uh, I can't do any blood anyways because my medication. Ah, that stinks. You were to rant about fairy. No, fairy types was 8,000, I think. I feel like the PowerPoint was 8,000. If anyone wants to go back to the, the first the first stream and see what I promised to do... What was I going to do at 5,000? It was going to be something. I don't remember, honestly. I'm pretty sure 6,000 was the Go Rock Calisthenics. Yeah, 8, 8k for the fairy rant. I should have writ, writ, written this down. Alas. But anyway, last time in Pokemon Ranger, uh, we were put in a cave, and Arya was a jerk. Donation. But, uh, we also met the Gorok Quad several times last time. It was very, very nice. I'll let the thing catch up if we've got a donation. But, uh, now we're gonna go deeper into this cave here, because that's the fun thing to do. There's a lot of bell sprouts in this cave. Oh, you both got razor leaf, huh? Okay, okay. Watermelon is it? How much to make you replace Superman 64? I'm not doing that. <laughs> Watermelon. Watermelon is a good fruit. Hey, it's a Gorok grunt. Look for the legendary Pokemon. Don't mess with me. Buddy. You'll have to get together over here. Actually, what does ground type do? Why is this not super effective against you guys? Come on. Haha! -ha! It's for charity! There are certain things you don't do for charity. I would do anything for charity. I would do anything for charity. I would do anything for charity. But I won't do that. Oh, you already changed it to Pokemon Ranger. Thank you. Administrator also second. We got five dollars. The thingy uh the thingy's not updating on my end, but we got five dollars. Thank you for whoever donated. I really appreciate you. Ten thousand Dovey LPs Final Fantasy thirteen. I mean I kinda started that and then stopped it. One sec, let me see if I can if I can get this uh thingy back up. Doing live troubleshooting, everybody. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. I like Final Fantasy 2. I'm not going to let's play it, but I don't think it's a bad game. I just think it has problems. Uh, this one? This one, hooray. Oh, of course, as soon as I get this up, it the other one updates, I love that. That's actually hilarious. Now I'm just gonna turn that off and keep that in my pocket then.
flawed, but not bad. Exactly. We have both on screen. Does that mean we have double donations? That's right. <laughs> That's in exactly correct. How much for Dovi to commission Gemini art of himself? I commissioned Gemini to do my, my OC Clara. I think that was extensive of that. I mean, I'm going to probably commission Gemini to draw other stuff too when they're available, but... I don't, I don't commission art of myself. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> Match up, hello. <laughs> anyway, aside f aside from the obvious, you know, being at the Nintendo Project stream, how are you all, uh, how was your weekend so far? I bet you were gonna get Lonnie to make something. Eh, I, isn't that my banner on my Twitter? Isn't that from Lonnie? Or is that... I don't remember. I have it written down. I have things written down because I can never remember them. One second. It says Jordy, Jordy Bordy Chan. I don't remember if they changed their name or not. Lion says my lewd calendar would make would do too well. <laughs> Got a shiny Oddish and go, nice. Got through the first two cases in Ace Attorney 1, nice, nice. How much to make Dovi do a mono type fairy type run of a game? I don't know, I don't know. It's gonna take a lot to make me to make me agree to that. Also, uh, much luck on the essay writing, John. I'm not I'm not doing a f solo fairy type run. Thank you very much. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, I need double water for you. Okay. Hello. You're a ranger. What do you think you're doing here? Can Dovi beat Pokemon Sun with only Poplio? Probably. That game is relatively easy until you get towards the end. How much for Dovi to admit that Angie Yanaga is a good character? Um, I don't like lying to people. I'm, s I'm pretty sure. What is an Angie and Naga? It's a character from Danganronpa 3. Sorry, Danganronpa V3, which is different than Danganronpa 3. There are a lot of Zubats here. Original Sun Poply Run, probably doable. Ultra Sun, I don't think it's doable. Yeah, Necrozma is, is difficult. For certain. a lot of Zubats here. Just like any actual Pokemon cave. Zubats everywhere. Come here, buddies. Come here. Come here. Oh, come on, really? Come on. Get closer. Come a little bit closer. You're my kind of bat. Come a little bit closer. I'm all alone, and I caught you like that. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Why is Angie being mentioned in a wholesome stream? You can cheese anything with the power of friendship. That's what I've learned from anime. Oh my god, all of these polyworlds are just running away from me. They, 
Come on. Come on, get get Andrew, <laughs> this is a lonely hill you're dying on. Anyway, um, I haven't said it before, but it was kind of obvious. This is a charity stream. Uh, I Cabathon Charity Marathon benefiting Canadian Blood Services in memory of our friend Brian Fraser. Uh, if you uh, can donate, their link is uh, below the page, or if you press exclamation donate. But uh, if not, feel free to just stick around, watch, uh, help uh, by... Uh, retweeting things or sharing in your discords or what have you and uh if you uh have done so or it's not your thing that's perfectly fine feel free to stick around and watch it's all good anyway i like that this hariyam is essentially like a boss type character come on buddy slow down haha -ha. Let's not talk about V3 too much, because I know there are people here that, at least spoiler-wise, because uh, I know there are people here that have not played it yet. But, um, yes, I do like Kibo. Let's see where, where this is all going. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of Hariyamas. <laughs> hey, buddies! Uh, I don't have anything particularly super effective against you, so let's just use plus a little. You are too far away from each other. Dang it. You jerks. Alright. Uh... Try this again. Okay, there we go. I'd like to not know too much. Mm hmm. Suffice to say, I enjoy the games. <laughs> Uh, let's get rid of you. I like this party. This is me, me and the Chonkers, and Machop. Tell about the time we went to Africa, and it was amazing because Africa was in New Jersey. Hey Zubat, thanks for getting getting this polywhirl over here for me. Really appreciate it, bud. Now he's throwing up. Every now he's throwing up everywhere. See, the Zubat isn't considered uh, super effective with um, with the Pichu with the Plusle. I'm gonna call it Pichu a lot with the Plusle. It is Six Flags. It wasn't the Safari, it was just their Africa section or something. But it was Six Flags Great Adventure. <laughs> also, we leveled up. Since Zubat here is just considered a poison type and not a flying type, so the Plusle isn't good against it. Uh, let's reorganize our party. Go away, Zubat. <laughs> if you press too hard on the bottom screen. Yeah, I never had a problem with, with the... Uh, Oh god, I didn't know you could get confused. That's weird. I never had a problem with the touchscreen thing, but I also didn't brutalize my my system. I don't know if this is going to do anything here. Yeah, this is actually terrible. Okay. I'm 
not playing my best today. There we go. Get padded styluses. Where does the water from a polyworld come from? From its saliva glands, I assume. Hello? It wasn't letting me select a Pokemon. That's interesting. No. Yeah, when you're confused, you just go in random directions for a while. There we go. Zuban Polyworld. Baby's two favorite mods. Hooray. Oh, we're at the entrance. Hello. I know we were, like, supposed to actually clear away some of the rocks here, so maybe we'll do that. Thank you, Hariyama. Oh, hey, hi. Fledgery Pokemon hasn't showed up. It's dark. I'm hungry. I'm taking you out. Okay. I should probably get plus low for this. I really like the, the music though, like, in general for the Go Rocks. Oh, come on, really? I have a bad grip on my stylus today for whatever reason. You hear about the results of the Josh fight? I heard that Josh won. Oh my god, that's that lasts a lot shorter than it should for a super effective move. There we go. <laughs> Dang, I was really rooting for Josh. Say plus it breaks the game, then the mom lets us down. The bill fight happened already, you know. That was that was on Friday. Pick a fight, I get creeped, does this qualify as pathetic? Yes. Yes it does. Sorry to say, but you're pitiful. Thought it was a Pokemon, but no, it's a person, even better a ranger. You're perfect for trying this Pokemon to come with a new type styler. You're gonna die. Shiley Lowland Executor today. That's cool. This was the most pathetic battle I've ever been in. Uh, was he exit this? I think of a bye. That's right. Yes, yeah, now we're on the other side of the rocks over here. <laughs> Let's break these. Ranger, I just met her. Were there just a bunch of spinner axe under the rock? What? <laughs> I got a text message. It's from Spencer to Dewey. It got where the Gorax was. Active in Crocodile. Tunnel. Yeah. Let's meet the Dugdrio statue. Okay. Let's let's catch let's catch some spinner axe for no reason. Hey buddies. How y'all doing? Yeah. Get get closer. Get closer. We're taking a family picture. Get closer. Stand next to your brother. Smile. Smile. Carl. 
Carl, stand next to your sister. Good. Yeah, say cheese. One thing I remember about disliking this game is needing to backtrack if you miss an ally Pokemon you need to progress. Eh. Backtracking isn't necessarily too terrible, but I hear that. Now, he said I should meet him by the statue, but I want to get... I don't care about you guys. I want to get the, the Graveler. That was somewhere around here. There you are. Hey, buddy. Haha. -ha. I didn't even need a polywhirl. There we go. But I don't wanna. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's get rid of spin rack. Unfortunately, the bug poke assists are not particularly useful. Let's save so that in case I, my game decides to freeze again. I still can't believe that happened last time, honestly. What are the chances? That also looks like a place that we could get to, but I, I didn't get to. So I'm just going to explore around a little bit more. Oh, right, right, right. We need a vine Pokemon to get across there. But we don't have vine. The vine was shut down. Did they... Did, did them bring it back to stay permanent? I don't remember. Oh, hey. Tiffany! Your restaurant is great. Uh... I, was, uh, I have so had it, there's no legendary Pokemon to be found. My big brother's all left without me too, and our grunts can't seem to deal with the likes of you. It's time to put things right, get ready for my headline act. Camera up to come! It's like the time you're playing Paper Mario and the debug mode popped up. That was so amazing. I will never be able to replicate that. Anyway, this camera up is going to die. No ordinary musical instrument, it's an instrument type styler that our boss made for the Go Rock quads. Unlike your styler, it doesn't need anything like a sense of justice to do its thing. It can control Pokemon through musical tension, groove, and stuff like that. Oop, may have served up too much of important information. Well, I'm ready for battle now, but since you can lose anyway, I can't wait for you to get ready. <laughs> if you don't need to do anything, we can get started right away. Alright. Hey. How you doing, buddy? I like that she gives me a chance to go collect Pokemon. Go, camera up, scorch that ranger! And I said, what about breakfast at Tiffany's? Okay. So what do you do? Oh, right, you do that. Let's see if I can get this easily. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, see? It gets harder, I swear. But anyway, we've got a camera up. Whee! And it flies away. Ow, oh, you're pretty good. Why don't you join us? Oh, someone's coming. There's trouble, rear bad trouble. An expert ranger showed up in a dashing manner and wiped us out. No time flat! You lot, you got beaten by this ranger first, then you got wiped out by another ranger? I doubt we win our third try, so let's beat a hasty retreat. Bye bye see you again! Alright, bye. It appears if the Gorok squad has left the area, but you're saying you were searching for a legendary Pokemon? What would make them do that? Anyway, you cleared this mission, let's head back to Ringtown. Mission clear! We did it. We did it. We saved the world. Ah, uh, it's Lunik. Hi, Dovey. Long time. How are you doing? If you're headed back to Ringtown, let me join you. I want to hear about what you've been up to while we walk back. Okay. So I caught Pokemon. And I found some other Pokemon. And I caught another Pokemon. The end. 
It feels a little easy to cheese the boss on this one. Yeah, and it's not like uh, one of the 24, uh, 24, uh, uh, circles needed Pokemon. You've accomplished the mission without flinching with the Gorok Squad's interference. I hereby certify you as a Ranger Rank 6, Dewey. Yay! I love that the confetti just falls down. Dewey's promo to Ranger Rank 6. Can I use Flying Poke Assists? That's it? Okay. After all the running around we've done chasing up the Gorok Squad, it's good to be back home. Dewey, it's your first time back in Ring Town for some time. You should have wanted to relax a bit. That said, there's no telling when a new mission will pop up, so don't leave Ringtown. Alright, I won't leave. How you doing? You know, you're looking more low, I look a proper ranger. Thanks. Thanks for saying I didn't look like a ranger before. Do you know MC Fielder? Oh, right. MC Fielder. Wait, wait, wait. wait. MC Fielder, MC Arena, MC Fisher. Oh, I thought it said Escher. I was like, wait, no, my joke. Let's go do the, that challenge, because that's fun. Who's Dewey? Hello. Yo, yo, yo! They call me MC Fielder! Yep. I want to take part in the capture challenge riding a Doe Duo. We did good on the water one. No, I didn't need to know the rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ready? Joel has 5,000. What? Alright, we're gonna have to beat 5,000 points. It was 3,500 for the last one. We got this, though. We can do this. This is a very fast do duo. Hey! You know, the, um,. The battle music almost sounds like the field theme, like the field music theme from Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. This one. Or is it the Dark World theme? Doing good so far. By doing good, I mean there are no Pokemon. Say to reach check, hey buddy. Better start finding evolved Pokemon soon. Get over here. Spoink it. <laughs> that was a good jump, buddy. That was a good jump. I'm proud of you. I'm less proud of you when you do your big jumps, though. I wonder if this also builds up your meter still, like your your mine up plus little meter, whatever it is, the Pokemon. Jerk! Nope. Screwing this up. Come here, get get. It's so annoying when they go into the corners and you're like, I can't make a circle around you there. We waste a lot of time on that. Okay, good. Oh my god, a Rapidash was running right at us. Boba. Boba Sack. The Pokemon anime has some very cute sounds from the Pokemon. Aside from, like, Guzzlord. Really? That didn't work? Oh, come on. 
Buddy! Chill! You ever hear the the Guzzlord the Guzzlord sound in put in the anime? It's literally just a man screaming. Hey Curlia. Ah! Yeah, it's that. Porygon Z's voice in Porygon Park. We gives me nightmares. I don't remember. Oh my god, there's a whole herd of Tauros! Whoa! This is a bad idea, but we're doing it. We're doing it live. There's no way. Come on. You know, one, one strategy is to just stop some of them by making a fake line around them, which can just give you a little breathing room. We run out of time, but I, I, I'm determined not to die here. I'm not gonna get a triple on this without dying, but we can do this. We got this. No! Please don't be a real game over. Okay, good. <laughs> Bust. <sighs> Came back to modify the schedule. There goes the styler. Breaks my heart to say this challenge is as busted as your styler. What? I had over 5,000 points on that one! Come on! Oh, come on! That is garbage that is absolute trash and I clicked yes again I am I am mad That should have just stopped the challenge and it like it should have been like if you run out of pokeballs in the safari zone It just ends the challenge it isn't like oh can't do it anymore. It's gonna let all your pokemon go That's that's trash. That's absolute trash Fine we did it once we could do it again. I'm just gonna not touch the tauros then or only get into battle with one Tauros. Mmm. Mmm, I'm salty. Salty as heck. What is, what is a sleep schedule? Buddy? Gonna be up until 3 a.m. writing this. Yucky. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, we are doing so much worse. At least we ran into a Combuskin earlier on because we caught two Torchics. as heck. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. If we're lucky, we can get a blaze again out of this. Abra, hey buddy. Alright, it just teleports around. Just gotta get really lucky with the teleporting. Ugh. Ha ha! I also don't like that the little the little thing showing you got a new Pokemon uh, counts towards the time limit. 
That's also kind of scummy. You can busk in. We're just going to farm you, apparently. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. <laughs> Bruh. I don't care about the Abra, but the Curly was nice. I shouldn't have done this as a time waster, but I'm hoping Kadabra shows up. Wow, we got it! I like that we got it and then it teleported. Okay. Staying away from the uh, from the Tauruses. <gasps> Arcanine! Hello! How do you attack? Big fire. Yay! What a lad. Arcanine is a lad. Okay, now we just have to not die. Let's try to get one more. One more. We have five seconds. Where'd you... Buddy. Oh, that's neat. It carries over between things as long as you don't hit the, um, hit the line. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, we got 7,300 points because Joel is a loser. It's too bad you don't get anything for this, though. I mean, it's not like the game can give you anything for this. You're amazing, yo! You shattled jo shattled shattered Joel's record. No, I don't want to take another try at it. Your your challenge is rigged. Let's just talk to people. There's an old guy wandering around the forest. I wonder if he's okay. Uh huh. Well, let's go check that out then. Let's save. Sorry about that. Yeah, sometimes my uh, cable comes undone for the 3DS because it's it's finicky. Okay, you good? <laughs> Can something about it's almost May and they have yet to announce any details about the next community day. Obviously. Obviously, it's a uh, it's a secret that they're not making communities anymore. They decide to get rid of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sweet talk people and they capture Pokemon. It's it's terrible. It's awful. Do we have to talk to? Okay, we could just go back. Our leader is looking for you, Dewey. Dewey, in order to head to Summerland. If we both end up there, let's hit the field together. Did get a ton of experience from today's event. What was today's... Oh, the friendship thing or something? That was for three hours at a time I couldn't access. You're back. I have a mission I want you to take. There have been reports of a senior citizen lost deep inside the Lyra Forest. There's something funny about how they phrase that. I want you to escort the senior citizen, locate him, and escort him to safety. That's your latest mission. An old person? I bet he's not evil. Yo, no limit. Hello, hello. The raid. I don't have. I don't have a a, a raid message. A, a raid. A raid thing. But we do have what we did last time. I guess. Thank you so much for coming. This magic carp over here. It recognizes your dedication to streaming, and tries to join you. But unfortunately, it is splashing is not effective. Sadly, sadly, this magic carp. All it can do is splash around helplessly. But still, it tries its best, just as we all do. And I know that that's really the important thing. It appreciates your effort. So thank you very much for stopping by and thank you for rating. Yeah, the stream has been going pretty pretty awesome. We've we've blown past our goal 3 times, which is amazing. We're on our we're on our fourth or technically our third stretch goal or our fourth goal. 
overall. Um, hope you're doing well. I hope your stream went well. We're, uh, I'm playing Pokemon Ranger here, and uh, for those of you who are new uh, here, this is the iCapathon Charity Marathon benefiting Canadian Blood Services. We're uh, uh, raising money in memory of our friend Brian Frazier who passed away from leukemia a couple months ago. And uh, we're, uh, if you uh, would like to donate, um, it's, uh, the link is now in chat, thank you Nick, and it's also below the stream. Um, and uh, if you can't donate, if you'd like to help spread the word, I mean, you're here already from our, sh from our raid, so you did, you did good. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, if you would uh, like to help out in any other way by sharing in various places, is appreciated. If not, please uh, feel free to just stay here and watch, that's amazing too. Um, yeah, we're, we got, uh, we're just going for a little bit more tonight. There's another block after me, and then tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be fun times all around for our final day. But, um, I, uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by. But, uh, I'm playing Pokemon Ranger. <laughs> we got, we got Chikoritas here. The important thing. Chikorita is an underappreciated Pokemon, and I need everyone to know that. Is Chikorita my favorite starter from Johto? No. It's probably my least favorite. Do I love it? Yes. I like Totodile, and I, I, I mean, I love Totodile, and I like Cyndaquil, but like, Chikorita is still nice. She is a precious being. Excuse me, Rangers, have you seen a little girl too, Jigglypuff? She's my daughter, I don't think she's lost her in trouble, but I'd like to find her. It kind of sounds like she's lost and or in trouble. A little girl too, Jigglypuff, we haven't seen anything like that on our way from Ringtown. Oh, that's fine then, I'm supposed to meet her, but I'm too early anyway. If you happen to come across my daughter, can you tell her her daddy's waiting here? Sure thing, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that. We're gonna go deep into the forest, so we'll likely see her soon. Of course, if you're worried, I can get in touch with the ranger base. No, you don't need to do that. She's probably playing hide and seek with the Jigglypuff. Thanks for your concern, though. Alright. See you later, old man. Bayleaf is probably my favorite middle evolution. Yeah, Bayleaf is one of the middle evolutions that doesn't look super awkward. <laughs> like a certain Torchix evolution. I like Croconaw a lot, but he does look silly. Quillava is actually cute too. So yeah, Gen 2. Gen 2 did it right. Where are we going? Where are we going? The path to the deep part of the forest is this way. The deepest part of the Lyra's forest is nicknamed the Labyrinth Grove, because it's so confusing there. There's usually a ranger here to warn people about that, but the Gorok squad's mission left us short-staffed. I bet the lost man wandered deeper into the forest because there was no one there to warn him. Uh-huh. Hey Jigglypuff. Bye. Look, the Jigglypuff's going deeper into the forest. Let's go after it. I'm sorry, Nick. I do not like Quilladin. I do not like Chespin. I do not like Quilladin. I do not like Chestnut. <laughs> Let's go get that Marsh Tomp we saw down here. Hey buddy. Marshtomp is, is super awkward looking too, but he is absolutely adorable to me. Like, hands down, one of the most adorable. And I will not hear slander against Marshtomp in this chat. How did that miss? You used full, three full bars, buddy. Come on. Buddy. Buddy. How d is it because it's ground type? My god. I was almost murdered by a marsh top. The entire derp kip line. Yeah, a swampert uh, also. I really love. Chespin was my starter in, in Y. Emphasis on was. I love Chespin Chestnut. I can see Quilden's a bit of an awkward and real Evo. I, what's going on around here? Oh, that's my Pokemon jumping around. I was like, am, am I about to be destroyed by, 
by a group that did not like me catching Marshtomp? No. The game cares about type advantages now? Yeah, apparently! Hey, hey buddy, it's okay. It's okay, come here. Come here. He's a good boy. There we go. Grovile? Grovile is really cool. That's why they gave him his own game. The Explorer series is, is, is about Grovile, and I you can't convince me otherwise. There's a little girl. She's crying, too. Making girls cry? Not cool, Hajime. Hey, little girl, what's wrong? Yeah, my jiggly butt ran away into the dark part of the forest. I had two, but now there's only one of my daddy's not here. It's dark and it's scary in the forest. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Your daddy's waiting for you. Is there your jiggly buff? Let's see. Dewey, I'll stay here with this little lady. Please find her right away, jiggly puff. Okay. That's, en that's enough crying. This nice ranger will get you, jiggly puff. Let's play some games away here for her. Okay, I won't cry anymore. <laughs> Okay, let's save before we die. Grovile and everyone's favorite, Poggy Woggy. That's right. <laughs> always, always the best Pokemon. <laughs> it's a Fampy! Fampy is another precious bean. So let's see. Wartortle's actually really cool too, and Charmeleon, and even Ivysaur. Like those those were hey, speaking of Ivysaur, those were actually neat also. It wasn't until Gen 3 that the middle Evos started looking interesting. Really? Come on. Okay, good. If I I was not gonna die to a I'm not going to die to an Ivysaur. I love you, buddy, but I'm not dying to you today. Hey, Pichu, I desperately need you. Squirtle's my favorite Gen 1 star. I'm, I'm usually, I'm usually the, uh, the water guy. Uh, let's get rid of Mudkip. Sorry, buddy. I'm usually the water Pokemon chooser um except for gen 4 because is it, this is just a uh, single yeah gen 4 yeah combuskin gen 4 was was a uh, what's it called we're about to be killed by Beedrill Piplup, right? Don't like Piplup. I, there, I said it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Turtwig all the way. It's the other... Don't like Piplup. Empoleon is neat. I hate... Um... Uh, whatever Piplup turns into. Nick looks betrayed. Prinplup, yeah, I hate Prinplup. You ever read Prinplup's Pokedex description? Pokemon Diamond, Prinplup. It lives alone, away from others. Apparently, every one of them believes it is the most important. Platinum. Because every Prinplup considers itself to be the most important, they can never form a group. <laughs> That's the Pokemon you guys are defending. Empoleon is, is a cool type matchup, but I, I don't like using it. Despite being a steel type. Chimchar... Chimchar is neat, but I have never used it seriously. They are all the most important, Dovey! 
<laughs> Why do I come back to my favorite Pokemon evolution line being attacked? I, I think Chimchar is cute, but I, I don't think I've ever used one because there's... First of all, is this... This is, isn't the same Jigglypuff, is it? Ew, it's the girl Jigglypuff. It is. Okay, cool. Um, Turtwig is the most important Pokemon. Oh, somebody donated money. Thank you so much, whoever donated uh, during bad opinion block. I really appreciate you. Jigglypuff bounces around as if we're dancing. Sometimes it strolls in towns. Uh, but yeah, a Turtwig is... Could I just let it go? That's kind of funny, actually. Turtwig is the, the most beautiful Pokemon, and Torterra is precious, and I love it. And uh, Grovile, not Grovile, wow, yeah, it turns <laughs> turns into a Grovile, fact. Uh, Grottle is, uh, or Grodel is, uh, is amazing as well, and I love him. Here you go. It's my Jigglypuff, my Jigglypuff, my Jigglypuff! But at least none of them are fairy types. No. No, that doesn't happen until we get to Gen, uh... Gen 7. I like Torterra, but it's my least favorite of the three. But Torterra has... How many of the three of them can have Pokemon living on its back, huh? Also, it's a really cute type matchup. Ground grass. It's beautiful. I love it. Clown Princess is not the best starter. I'm midnight. I I am going to respectfully disagree. <laughs> I know that a lot of my Poplio hate is 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 a uh, is fake outrage due to the meme, but um, I don't I don't like the fact that they made one of the Pokemon a fairy type. Favorite Pokemon of all time is Cyndaquil. That's a good choice. Cyndaquil is an adorable little fire mouse. Rowlet is where it's at, though. Rowlet's adorable. That's what it was! That's what it was! Are there any water starters you like? I like all of them except for Poplio and Piplup. I, like I said before, you weren't here. I am a water starter fanatic. Squirtle, Totodile, um... <laughs> Mudkip, uh, let's see, uh, uh, the Oshawott, um, Sobble is adorable. But, um, I don't like Piplup and I don't like, uh... Froakie, of course. Yeah, Froakie is the best. But yeah, uh, I just remembered. I just remembered for $5,000. If we hit $5,000, I promised you I would read the glossary. I, I figured that out when I accidentally pressed the menu button. So guess what we're doing right now? We're going to stop talking about bad Pokemon opinions. And I'm going to read the glossary. Love all the stars except Score Bunny. Adore the water stars. They've always been my second favorite. It's the one I end up going with. I didn't use a water star until Froakie, and it wasn't because I really loved that. I just really didn't like the other two. I hear that. Honestly, there's no really starter that I outright hate. Closest I can think of is Delphox. I never used uh, Fennekin either. Uh, I think Fennekin is okay, but I never touched it. It's illegal to hate Ninja Frog. Um, you start attacking my favorite Pokemon all the time. I gotta take it personally because that's how the internet works. Just remember, my opinions are not the facts. Like, I, I know you were joking there, but, um, you know, for, uh, for everything I say here, if I, if I, just because I dislike, uh, Pokemon, like, fairy types, and most fairy types, there, there's some good ones that they've made, but just because I like, dislike Pokemon does not mean, does not mean that your opinions are, are invalid or bad. Um, I always, I always want to, to stress that because, um, a lot of people think that when I when someone says an opinion, it's a direct attack <laughs> on everything, but no. I actually very much appreciate hearing people's uh, viewpoints, especially on Pokemon that I dislike. Hot take, Pokemon exist. 
I don't believe that jacket. I don't believe that for one second. Anyway, Ranger Glossary. I'm gonna take a drink before we start reading. I should have said, I should have said uh, if we hit 7,000, not to fly Sandaroth has his way. Fly Sandaroth! You were behind this! I should have said if we hit 7,000, I would do this in an Elmo voice. Imagine, imagine hearing for like 20 minutes straight, Pokemon Rangers work day and night to protect people on Pokemon and to safeguard precious natural environments. Working together with Pokemon, the expertly real the capture style is to overcome challenges. That would be absolutely horrifying to hear. Why did we let him do this? I don't know. Let's take a look at a picture of Star Starly and Duskull side by side. You're welcome. Fiori region. The people of this region are very protective of Pokemon in the natural environment. There are four towns. Ringtown is located within a forest. Summerland is on a volcanic island. Windtown is the foot of a mountain. Fall City is at the region's center. Why didn't I know this talent is the thing in your wheelhouse? That was weird. <laughs> when Gen 9 evil teams just be a bunch of people who hate you for no reason and they just annoy you specifically. <laughs> Team Yell. No, they don't. Team Yell doesn't hate you. They're just very loud fans. Yeah, it's it's like a dedicated group of it, it's it has to be a dedicated group of haters. Ranger Union, an organization for rangers founded by Professor Hastings and the three compatriots. The union oversees and supports all aspects of ranger activities. It is also responsible for maintaining and keeping track of stylers. They're they're just really like mar their boss is just your rival. <laughs> Remember when the rivals hated you? Ranger Base. A ranger base literally serves as a base for, of operations for rangers. There is a base in each of Fiori Region's towns. Each one is fully outfitted with state-of-the-art equipment. Ranger missions are managed by these bases, too. Ranger Rank. Ranger Rank indicates the expertise level of the ranger from 1 to 10. When promoted to a new rank, the ranger will be able to befriend more Pokémon. A, a promotion also means the ranger will be assigned more important missions. So if we're ranger rank 6 right now, does that mean we're like halfway through the game? Capture Styler. <clears throat> the Capture Styler was invented by Professor Hastings. It is a communication device that lets rangers befriend wild Pokemon and obtain their help. The device, which has other functions, can only be used by rangers. It is commonly known as a styler. It'd make a more fun rival than Bead. Bead is fun because because he becomes a, uh, a gym leader. The dis uh, capture disc. The disc is a top light component of the capture style that pops out when the ranger attempts a capture. It is not a Beyblade. Please do not sue us, Bandai. It is this disc that the ranger controls to draw loops around po wild Pokemon. By drawing the loops, the ranger's feelings are passed to the Pokemon, making it more accepting of capture. So you brainwash it. The capture line is a line that is drawn by the capture disc while being controlled by the capture styler. In most cases, the capture line is drawn as simple loops around wild Pokemon to capture them. Let it rip. Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 minute pa meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. Bong. A single lap should be completed each time you hear this sound. Bong. Remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, your test is over. The test will begin on with the word start. On your mark, get ready, start. Whoa. Continuously draw loops of the capture line around the target Pokemon. 
When the first loop is completed, a number appears above the Pokémon. This number indicates how many loops must be continuously drawn around the target to capture it. <laughs> I'm having middle school war flashbacks from the beep test. I don't think I ever actually had the fitness gram pacer test. I just know about it somehow. Like, I knew instinctively about it despite them I don't think ever administering it in my school. <laughs> capture 3. When the required number of loops is drawn around the target Pokemon, lift the stylus from the touchscreen to capture it. If the stylus is lifted before the required number of loops has been drawn, or if the target Pokemon cuts the capture line, the capture attempt fails. When the required loops for capture are drawn around the target Pokemon, a number with plus appear in front of it appears. This number is the experience points the Styler can earn if the capture is successful. This number will rise if the Ranger draws more loops that are needed for capture than are needed for capture. It was the worst. That's why it's one of my normal uh, uh, bit uh, alerts. <coughs> The Styler's energy is reduced every time it is damaged by Pokemon. If the energy runs out, the Styler is no longer capable of capturing Pokemon and it's game over. The Styler's energy can be recharged by talking to the operator at any ranger base or with the help of a Pokemon with an electric Poke Assist. As shown on the top diagram, if a wild Pokemon touches the capture line, the line is broken but the Styler is not damaged. However, if a Pokemon's attack move hits the capture line as shown below, the line is broken and the Styler sustains damage. Styler level. Upon obtaining a certain amount of experience points, the Styler will level up. When its level goes up, the Styler's maximum energy volume increases and it is recharged to full. The Styler also becomes capable of drawing a longer capture line. While attempting to capture a Pokemon, completing even a single loop makes the flea icon appear at the bottom left. The ranger can abandon the capture attempt and return to the field by touching the flea icon at any time. It is impossible to flee some capture attempts, however. Release means to return a befriended wild Pokemon back to its natural habitat. A ranger is allowed to travel with only a set number of befriended Pokemon. The number rises with the ranger rank. If a newly captured Pokemon is to be added to the party, the ranger may need to release another one. A friend Pokemon is a wild Pokemon that has accepted the ranger's friendship as a result of being captured. In the field, press X or Y button to distinguish your friend Pokemon from those in the wild. The outlines of friend Pokemon will glow. The radar is displayed on the top screen while you're in the field. It indicates where you are, as well as the location of Pokemon, save machines, entrances to chambers and caverns, and so on. X and Y confirmed! A mission is any job that rangers are asked to do by the people of Fiore. During a mission, the ranger may give up and start over from the beginning. Just open the menu, select mission, then select retire to start the mission again. A field move is a move that a friend Pokemon can use at a target in the field. The strength of the field move is shown using icons. The more icons, the more powerful the field move. Touch any Pokemon in the field to examine what field move it has. A target is an obstacle in the field, such as bundled hay or a metal fence. A target may also be use a useful object. Touch a target in the field to see what field move is needed to burn, crush, or do other things to it. Any friend Pokemon can clear a target if it has the right field move for the target. First, touch the target to see what field move is needed to clear it. Next, capture a wild Pokemon that has the field move needed for clearing the target. The Pokemon's field move must have at least the same number of field move icons as the target to clear it. Touch the po friend Pokemon with the necessary field move, then draw a line to the target you want to clear. If you draw the line properly, you will be presented with yes or no choices. Select yes to make the chosen Pokemon clear the target using its field move. Once a wild Pokemon has used its field move, it is automatically released according to Ranger rules. While in the field, your friend Pokemon are listed with field moves on the top screen. There's no need to touch friend Pokemon in the field to check what field move they have. Please leave them alone. 
The chosen friend Pokemon will breathe fire to burn up the target. In addition to the targets that obviously appear to burn easily, there are some targets that can be melted under intense heat. Recharge field move. This, the chosen friend Pokemon will discharge electricity to recharge the Styler's energy. The amount of energy that is restored depends on the kind of Pokemon. Soak field move. The chosen friend Pokemon will forcefully spray water to douse a fire. The water can also be used to grow plants. Cut field move. The chosen friend Pokemon will cut up the target using sharp fangs, scythes, or other appendages. In addition to plants, some targets made of wood or metal can be cut. For some reason, this is just making me think that there should have been an amazing crossover between Pokemon Ranger and Golden Sun. Crush Field Move The chosen friend Pokemon will crush the target with a hard tackle, shockwaves, or other means. Fragile walls could be knocked down. Boulders could be crushed too. Tackle Field Move The chosen friend Pokemon will throw a tackle at the target to move it. This field move can be used to shake trees, move heavy obstacles, and even knock over dead trees. Cross field move. The chosen friend Pokemon will lasso a distant post by extending a vine. The vine can be used like a sturdy rope to easily cross streams and pits. You do need to play Golden Sun. Flash field move. The chosen friend Pokemon will use its natural illuminating ability to light up dark places such as basements. Gust field move. The chosen friend Pokemon will whisk, whip up a gust of wind to expose a wild Pokemon that is hiding behind its camouflage. Partner Pokemon. A partner Pokemon always accompanies their ranger. The partner Pokemon could be called on to help the ranger make a difficult capture by using its Poke Assist. Partner Energy. This energy builds up when loops are drawn around wild Pokemon during captures. If at least one segment of a partner gauge is filled with energy, the ranger may use the partner Pokemon's Poke Assist. Using this Poke Assist completely drains the partner gauge, however. Partner Gauge. This shows how much partner energy has been stored. At first, the gauge only has one segment. It will gain more segments as the ranger goes up to higher ranger ranks. Plusle or, Plus or Minon's electrical discharge will gain power if more energy is stored. Poke Assist 1. The ranger may ask the partner Pokemon or friend Pokemon to use its ability to provide help during a capture. This is called a Poke Assist. To use a Poke Assist, touch the Poke Assist icon at the bottom right of the touchscreen. A new window opens that allows you to select the Poke Assist, touch the Pokemon that has needed the needed Poke Assist, then touch the Poke Assist icon. The selected Pokemon will use its Poke Assist to help your capture attempt. There are many kinds of Poke Assists. For some, the selected Pokemon becomes directly involved in attacks or in recharging the Styler's energy. Others enhance the performance of the capture line. However, those that power up the capture line come with time limits. When a Poke Assist has been performed, or if its time limit has run out, the Styler automatically releases any friend Pokemon that provided it. This is to ensure the Pokemon does not get harmed from overusing its energy. Dovey, buy my book. Pokemon are classified by type into different groups such as grass, butter, fire, and so on. The effectiveness of a Poke Assist will depend on the group of targeted Pokemon. A Poke Assist's effectiveness depends on how the assisting Pokemon's group matches up against the target. If an up arrow icon is shown, the user has a matchup advantage over the target. In this case, the Poke Assist is made more powerful and it lasts longer. If a down arrow icon is shown when using a Poke Assist, the user has a group matchup disadvantage against the target. In this case, the Poke Assist is weakened and it lasts less time. Your partner Pokemon, either Plusle or Minon, goes to the center of the capture screen and totally discharges electricity. Target Pokemon hit by the electricity becomes temporarily stunned, making them easier to capture. Advantageous matchup groups, flying, water, disadvantageous matchup groups, electric, grass, ground, dragon. Grass Poke Assist. The grass sprouts up from the capture line drawn by the styler. Target Pokemon touching grass will become ensnared, making them easier to capture. Advantageous matchup groups, ground, rock, water. 
disadvantageous matchup groups. Poison, flying, bug, grass, steel, dragon. <laughs> this poke assist has no effect on levitating or flying Pokemon. It is very useless against like half of the types of the game. Fire poke assist. Fire blazes from the capture line drawn by the styler. Target Pokemon touching the fire will become startled and sluggish, making them easier to capture. Also, if a loop is drawn, a large blaze starts burning in the center. Advantageous matchup groups. Grass, ice, bug, and steel. Disadvantageous matchup groups. Rock, fire, water, and dragon. Water poke assist. Touch the lower screen to start forming a bubble. The longer the screen is touched, the larger the bubble grows. Slide the stylus, then lift it to make the bubble float in the same direction. If the bubble hits the target Pokemon, the target gets trapped in the bubble. Advantageous matchup groups. Fire, ground, and rock. Disadvantageous matchup groups. Water, grass, and dragon. Electric Poke Assist. This Poke Assist recharges the Styler's energy. The amount of energy recharged varies by the kind of Pokemon. This Poke Assist may also be used in the field. I just realized we're going to learn what the heck normal types are useful for. Yay! If they are. Fighting Poke Assist. This Poke Assist doubles the performance of the Styler. Each capture loop align loop is counted as two loops instead of one. For example, if three loops are drawn, it's the same as six loops are drawn. If five loops are drawn, it's equal to ten loops. But what does Pot of Greed do? What if you use Fruit Loops? Advantageous matchup groups. Normal, Rock, Ice, Dark, and Steel. Disadvantageous matchup groups. Only Ghost. Poison Poke Assist. Using this Poke Assist, a Poison Mist rises from the capture line. Target Pokemon touching the mist are immobilized, making them easier to capture. Advantageous matchup groups, just grass. Disadvantageous matchup groups, poison, ground, rock, ghost, and steel. I gotta say, I was not expecting this all the day. Listen, people, uh, I, I made a promise, which also means that at some point I'm gonna have to do the uh, Go Rock Calisthenics. This poke, psychic poke assist. This poke assist levitates target Pokemon, leaving them unable to move and easier to capture. <laughs> My wine is gone. Have more wine! Advantageous matchup groups, Fighting and Poison. Disadvantageous matchup groups, Psychic, Steel, and Dark. Bug Poke Assist. Why is the ROM gone? Touch the lower screen, slide the stylus, then lift it to throw a sticky blob in the same direction. If the blob hits the target Pokemon, the target gets immobilized by the sticky mess, making it easier to capture. Bug m group matchups. Advantageous type matchup groups, grass, psychic, and dark. Disadvantageous matchup groups, fighting, poison, flying, ghost, fire, and steel. Ground poke assist. The ground becomes churned up by the capture line drawn by the styler. The torn up ground makes it hard for target Pokemon to move, making them easier to capture. Advantageous matchup groups, poison, rock, fire, electric, steel. Disadvantageous matchup groups, bug, grass, and flying. This poke assist has no effect on levitating or flying Pokemon. Rock poke assist. Touch the lower screen, slide the stylus, and lift it to throw gravel in the same direction. If the gravel hits the target Pokemon, the target gets immobilized by a cloud of dust, making it easier to capture. Are you gonna make John do the Go Rock calisthenics? No. No, I'm not doing it during that block. <laughs> Rock group matchups, advantageous matchup groups, flying, bug, fire, and ice, disadvantageous matchup groups, fighting, ground, and steel. We're just playing Pokemon uh, Stadium during that. Or I'm playing it. Flying poke assist, touch the lower screen and slide the stylus, lifting it to create a twister that moves in the same direction. If the twister hits a target Pokemon, it is levitated in place, making it easier to capture. Did someone donate? Thank you for whoever donated, I appreciate you very much. Also, when a loop is drawn, twisters appear around the outside. <clears throat> Advantageous matchup groups, flying, bug, and grass. Disadvantageous matchup groups, rock, electric, and steel. Yeah, it's probably going to be during this block. Captured challenges are a ranger contest held at the site in the Safra Sea and Kisara Plain. In these contests, ranger must capture as many Pokemon as possible within a set time. Scoring is based on the total of the points assigned to each capture Pokemon. And that's it. What did we learn from that? There's no such thing as a normal assist. Yay! 
Now let's go through all the Pokemon we've caught. You can't see it because it's really tiny. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur extends its vines to attack and prevent capture. Ivysaur. Ivysaur's powerful vines can be used to lasso a post and cross a gap. Bellsprout. Bellsprout delivers cuts with its sharp leaves. It's just a sprout, but be careful. Can randomly throw it in during Midnight's block. Chikorita. Chikorita looks cute when it toddles with its leaf blown in the wind. Mudkip. Mudkip is a very docile Pokemon. It can dance a small fire by spitting water. Marshtomp. When Marshtomp rears way back, it's readying itself to spit a lump of mud. Slowpoke. Question mark. Torchic. Sprouts flames from its tiny beak. <clears throat> it can be easily incinerate bundled hay. Combuskin delivers fiery kicks. Flames shoot from its toes. Rapidash charges while cloaked in flames that can incinerate anything. <clears throat> or miffins. Cyndaquil can make the flames on its back flare to burn bundled hay and so on. Pichu not only recharges the stylers, its cuteness is uplifting to others. <clears throat> Beedrill shoots, shoots sharp needles that can shatter large rocks. When Curlius spins on its feet, it will teleport to obscure itself. Using teleportation, Abra moves about while keeping itself levitated. Spoink constantly hops in a rhythmic manner. Watch out for the sudden high jumps. Fampy might be small, but its powerful tackle can move aside an obstacle. Taylor flits about busily. Capture it when it grows tired and rests. Spiro can whip up gusts by busily flapping its small wings. Here is a question mark. We didn't catch it yet. Zigzagoon always zigzags when it moves. It's just, it's fun to just watch it. Paris cuts the capture line with its front claws to avoid being caught. If Poliwag spots a ranger, it becomes startled and dives underwater. Poliwhirl attacks with jets of water. Beware, it attacks repeatedly. Politoad rhythmically hops about and squirts water vigorously. Magnemite loses electricity to attack. It can also recharge your styler. Magneton generates electricity using its magnetism to recharge your styler. Zubat prefers dark places like caves. It uses ultrasonic waves to attack. Diglett burrows underground. It sometimes rests with its head poking out. Rhydon hurls boulders that can shatter rock walls. Geodude may be found lying on the ground. It has power to crush small rocks. Graveler sometimes hides as a boulder. It can break things by hurling rocks. Plusle discharges electricity to immobilize targets during a capture attempt. Tangela can extend its vine and lasso a post across a gap. When Krabby starts foaming in its mouth, it's about to spray bubbles to attack. Corfish blows bubbles from its mouth. It stops moving, then scurries about. Crawdont attacks with its big pincers. They have sharp cutting edges. Totodile powerfully splits, spits blobs of water. It may squirt them in succession. Croconaw attacks with globs of water. Beware of puddles on the ground, too. Squirtle, question mark. Machop packs a lot of power in its small body. It can easily shatter small rocks. Machoke takes pride in its strong body. It has no trouble crushing big boulders. Makuhita is small, but it has enough power to move obstacles. Hariyama loses a barrage of straight-arm punches that can shatter anything. Metatite slaps things with its tiny hands. It can break through weakened walls. Grimer hurls blobs of sludge. Also beware of the sludge trail it leaves behind. Muck heads right for the capture disc. It hurls big globs of sludge. Coughing sprays poison mist to attack. If it, it puffs up if a loop is drawn out around it. Drowsy loses psychic power from its hands to disrupt your capture attempts. Sn while Snubble's tackle can move heavy obstacles, it's actually quite docile. Skitty playfully hops about if it spots a capture disc, it adorably waves its tail. Meowth can cut down trees with its claws, it cleverly walks on its hind legs. Jigglypuff bounces about as if it were dancing, it sometimes strolls in towns. Radicate chomps with its sharp fangs. These fangs can rip apart a metal fence. 
Snorlax. Lapras. If you can connect with Lapras, it may ferry you across the sea on its back. Goldeen can't be captured while it's in the water. Target it when it leaps out. The only chance to capture Sea King is when it jumps out of water. Star you attacks while spinning its body. Take care not to touch it then. Starmie spins its body to attack. It moves rapidly on the water's surface. Carvana chomps repeatedly with sharp fangs. Beware if they are in a pack. Wingo flies with its wings spread out. It spits water to interfere with capture. Magikarp appears to be only capable of flopping about helplessly. The leaves on Asha's head are sharp, enough to cut down trees. Trico can cut down grass and wooden fences with chops from its thin arms. Grovile can cut uh, cuts le with the leaves on its arms. They cut through metal with ease. Lotad hides in water disguised as a plant. It spits bubbles when it jumps up. Lombre not only blows bubbles, it also jumps away to get from the oh, to get away from the capture line. Ludicolo dances cheerfully while singing. Its tune interferes with capturing. I like that Lotad and Lombre are field move water and Ludicolo does not have it. Camera blasts lava from its humps. It can incinerate anything. Arcanine. Arcanine moves at blurring speeds while breathing powerful flames. Electric suits electricity all over. It can also recharge the styler. Heracross rams with its horn thrust out. It can move heavy things out of the way. Menke can crush small rocks. It will give chase if it spots you. Primeape is always furious and savage. It has the power to shatter big boulders. If it spots a capture disc, Ekans will slither straight toward it. Venonaut hops around, about while scattering puffs of poison mist. Wormbolt moves slowly, even when it is in a hurry. As a result, it is easy to capture. Silcoon's body glows when it is protecting itself. It can't be captured at that time. Beautifly attacks by scattering glittery powder while flapping its wings. Spinarak spits silk to interfere with capture attempts. Sl like the name suggests, Slackoth is slow. However, its claws can't be overlooked. And that's it. Slackoth is the last Pokemon. For now. Sorry, I'm out of things to read. Let's play the game. Yeah, Ekans is muck spelled backwards? Gasp. Thanks for listening to me do that and not leaving everybody. You're all amazing. <laughs> also, I feel really tired right now. Ooh, it's the Celebi Shrine. Hello. Lear Forest, let's give thanks to the spirit of life that fills the forest. We got a text message. Now read the enclosed instruction book. I have it somewhere. To, from Spencer to Dewey. I just received additional information about the missing senior citizen. He appears to have become lost as a result of being chased around by a wild weeping bell in the forest. The weeping bell of the Lear Forest tried to scoop up intruders and spit them, spit them up outside their territory. I'm glad they don't try to eat them. Keep that in mind, Dewey. Good luck with the mission. Okay. Mayor Dewey. It was very long, but completely worth it. Oh, I'm glad you guys got something of it. Thank you for donating. $5,000 to charity. Collectively. It's really appreciated. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of you I feel like flying types are gonna be good against the the weeping bells actually there was I don't think we got metapod yet oh, that wasn't the metapod that was a spin rack never mind I'm glad they just put these save machines everywhere weeping bell is a good boy I like weeping bell a lot I'm glad that he got time in, po in the Pokemon anime, and then Victory Bell eventually, too. One second. Yeah, okay. 
What did Victory Bell sound like in the anime? Yeah, it was kind of a screech. Speaking of Victory Bell. It was a it was a screech that I cannot do with my human voice. Wait, where are you guys going? Come back here. Let's not die, let's not die. Let's not die. Okay, so the, the flying assist doesn't work too well and the Pokemon are, like, in the upper part of the screen. Okay, we got it, we got it. We didn't die. Weeping Bill swallows unwary people and spits them back where they came from. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, buddy. Please move back to the middle of the screen. Stop moving. Okay, thank you. Come on. No. Okay, good. Put that thing over where it came from more, so help me. Boom, boom, boom. Yay, leveled up, thank god. Engine increased by two. Full heal. That was so well timed. Swallow darts quickly through the air while flapping its wings to create gusts. Still don't have anybody to smack that. Oh well. I'm not like I mean these are the the purpose of the trees are to get like specific uh, extra spawns to fill out your diary thingy. That's right. You just ignore me. So help me. So help me. And cut. Wow! Wow! Did you see that? What a jerk! What an actual jerk. Beware of mischievous weeping bell. Yeah, no kidding. There's a lot of headbutt trees in this place. And not a lot of headbutt Pokemon. I didn't let me get clip in sick. Jerk. Okay. Let's move onward. It's a save machine. So I'm, the block is almost done. I am gonna have to do calisthenics while we while we do this. I did promise. I don't remember what I promised for seven thousand. I just know that eight thousand was was the slideshow. The PowerPoint. It's a senior citizen. Oh, Gorder. I come to this infernal place. The legendary Pokemon. No. I have to give him the Lysanderoth voice. I come to this infernal place. This legendary Pokemon. While Hastings fought. Get a Columbus. Just watch me. You startled me. You should know better than to sneak up on someone like that. I see your ranger from Ringtown. It took you long enough to get here. Of course, I suppose I expect far too much of a Union Ranger. One does simply doesn't. One does not simply walk into Gordor. <laughs> Let me get a closer look at your face. Uh, a mere child. The Union sent a pipsqueak for me. Classic, I say. Classic. 
Yep, this guy is not evil. Ah, but child, this is no fault of yours. For it is I, Gorder, who lost his bearings in this forest and called for help. <laughs> Gorder, you were behind this! Wow, my capture card is not enjoying it. King Dragon sends his regards. And now return me the courtesy of telling me your name. Dewey. I see. Dewey it is. Now guide me out of the forest. Okay. I'm gonna catch this Quilava first. King Dragon sends his regards. See, I can't do, I can't do like a, a good deep prosy D voice. Speaking of Prozy D, he did something, uh, a video recently that was like Werner Herzog reviewing board games. And it was amazing. It was something I didn't know I needed in my life. I think that enemy got the point. But yeah, if... Hmm, <laughs> not too shabby. From what I understand, that device from Styler was it. It's not something that just anyone can use. Prozy D is amazing. <laughs> nice one, Archibald. I don't know, Archibald, do you think that Emmy did or did not get the point? For a capture to succeed, the ranger using the Styler must have the spirit of justice, was it? Evil laugh. But, Dewey, was it? What exactly is the spirit of justice? Isn't that an Ace Attorney game? Or indeed, what is justice? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Snickers bar. Perhaps that was too difficult for a child like you to grasp her. I understand justice. Why do people assume that children don't understand anything? It's the worst AA game. Yikes. Is that the one with Big uh, Turnabout Big Top? Also, that's an evil Murkrow. That Murkrow doesn't dare mock me for losing my bearings in the forest. No, no, no. Spirit of Justice was the, um, was the, uh, the one with Apollo. Right? I never played it. <laughs> you murker, how dare you heckle me? I won't take your insolence, uh, you, you, you useless, contrary, meaningless, crass, bombastic buffoon of a murkro. Wow, I didn't know I could just insult Pokemon away. The worst is Dual Destinies. Yikes, I liked Dual Destinies. Granted, it's one of the only ones I played. <laughs> it's actually on this DS. I would show you, but I have to close the game out. It came with this DS, my capture DS. I bought it, and it had Dual Destinies on it for some reason. <laughs> I bought it off eBay. It was like completely wiped, and it was still there. It's not bad, it's just not the best. I hear that. Appears that Crass got to... Isn't that the one with Joker in it, though? Like, the Joker, not not Persona Joker. Trials and Tribulations is very good, yes. Oh yeah, the Great Ace Attorney localization. Yes. The whole exchange has given me heartburn. Get, out, get me out of this confounded forest immediately. God. Dude. You, sir. You need to chill. Very highly. I I am I am excited for any game that has a character named Herlock Sholmes that has to name them that because the Conan Arthur Conan Doyle estate sues anybody that tries to use the Sherlock Holmes name. <laughs> Herlock Sholmes. I mean, come on, it's amazing. You can't not like that. Also, the art is really amazing. Beware of mischievous Beedrill. Those are certainly mischievous Beedrill. Who's the uh, who's the prosecutor in Trials and Tribulations? I don't remember. Wow, there's a lot of Beedrill here. Oh, Godot, of course, yeah, that, yeah, I mean, how do you not, 
like someone who's obsessed with coffee and has a tragic backstory. Him and Soju would jive. Also, he has great music. Yeah, Francisco was, uh, was the other game, I think. Foolish fools. Oh, look at this place. Bless. Let's capture all the Pokemon here. <laughs> the judge. That was the true villain. Wow, I got four Pokemon in here. Whoops. Don't, still don't understand anything you're saying. It's okay. Uh, yeah, let's just try to do this naturally. Come on, come on, we got this. Get out of the bottom of the screen. Oh god, I didn't even notice that. Come on. Come on. Don't you all run away from me. Okay, he flew off. How about you, Beautifly? I don't need you, Beautifly. I just want to capture you. There we go. I want there to be Ace of Trading Game where the judge is accused of murder and he's the judge for his own trial. There needs to be a game in the future where Phoenix cross examines Charlie the Plant. We'll open that at some point, but not now. <clears throat> oh man. Yeah, we gotta destroy. It's that heckling Murkrow being called a buffoon must have stung. Yep. Alright. We gotta we gotta we gotta do calisthenics. There's only ten minutes left before for Chelsea's block, so you know, we gotta gotta do it. We we hit six thousand. We got Go Rock Calisthenics. It's gonna be the worst because all they do is just put their hands on their hips. You put your hands on your hips. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, it's no, it's not the time warp. All they all they do all they do is put their hands on their hips and they they swing swing back and forth. It's essentially doing the Mario. Let's do the time up again. All right. So first thing we need to do. First thing we need to do, um, I'm gonna have to unplug my uh, my capture device for this, so that I can put my webcam in. Cause you can't do webcam, you can't do calisthenics without a webcam, right? Right. Let's see where it puts this. <clears throat> you guys get to see my badly lit room. It's going to be great. Try to make this a little bigger. I'm going to angle this up because I will be standing. And let's get... The Go Rock Squad theme. I'm gonna have to move this and make it lower. When 
do I move into the new place? We're, we're fixing it up. This this place is a uh, is taking a lot of work. Like, a lot. A lot of work. So it might still be a month before we actually move in because we, we're ripping up the kitchen and everything. It's taking forever. Uh, so the music sounds good. Weekly update, is that you? No, no, that's tomorrow. Isn't every dance the Mario in some way? Probably. Oh yeah, I got, got alpacas here. This is a bob and a half. I drew that, Ryuji. I drew that. I don't see any Pokemon. Where is it? As you get to. We have I have a little Snorlax plush. Is there an Angie print? No, but there's a Danganronpa three shirt. I have I've had this Snorlax plush since I was. No, eight years old. Eight years old. I've had the Snorlax plush since 1999. Okay. So, see, to get into the proper mood for the Gorok squads, you need to stand at the right one, the right, uh, the right angle, right? Okay. Get your arms out. Make sure the shoulders are bent. Hands firmly upon your hips. Don't hurt yourself. No, I'm not doing crazy stuff. The Gorok squad members bend a little forward. I already went to the hospital for one marathon. You know, one sec. This is the this is the quads theme, but I don't think it's the battle theme. There we go. Okay. Alright. Hands firmly upon your hips. You guys gotta do this with me. Bending a little forward. And as if you're getting ready to battle somebody. And then... Like this. Right? Left, and then right, and then left, and then right. You gotta move those hips. Just left and right. Except not too much. It doesn't exaggerate. They don't. They don't swing around like they're crazy. They just do. They do a little bit. They know the limits of themselves. They go to the music. Ba, 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 ba. But remember to keep that look in your eyes. Like you know exactly what's going on. You're beating that stupid trainer. That stupid ranger. Sure, you only managed to catch three wormholes, but you know what? <laughs> maybe, just maybe, it's an inexperienced ranger who doesn't know how to draw a line properly, and those wormholes will attack and destroy it. Should I make it its own highlight? I don't know. Now you're getting into the groove. You're saying to yourself, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'm better than this. Maybe I can actually go and catch myself more than just a couple worm pulls. I'm gonna try for that core fish. Unfortunately, it's very hard to catch things when your hands upon your hips and you're just gyrating slightly. <clears throat> but that doesn't matter, because it's all about the appearance. You gotta look directly at your foe, get right into their head, just lean forward and say, nah, look at me, you can't touch all this. I'm in the groove. I'm one step below Mirror B, but that's okay. If I had a Ludicolo, I'd be doing the Ludicolo dance. But I'm not, because I'm in a better team. I'm in the Gorocks. And that's all you need to do. Just lean forward, hands on the hips, shoulders out, confident expression. Bop to the music. This is what happens when you donate money to charity. You get Dovey to shake his stuff. 
I actually haven't been good on exercising in a while, so this is probably good for me. Also, I really like the song. How much for an entire Adobe workout video? I'm not doing a workout video. I am still recovering from back surgery. <laughs> if I try to do a recovery video, even as a joke, not a good idea. This is about the limits of what I can do. We're all gonna do this at WonCon, we better. See, the important thing about the Go Rock Squad is that they have a dance. You don't see that with other with other teams. Team Rocket members stand like this. They think that they're better than you. No, no. Team Aqua and Magma, they just have regular poses. They don't think that they're better than you. They just think that they're superior in other ways. <laughs> Team Galactic or Plasma, no way they dance at you. They're too stuck up. Team Skull, maybe. Team Flare, they do the thing over there, but that's just a pose. Go Rocks, though, they know what's up. They know the best way to get into an opponent's head is to groove at them. Because, man, if you got, got a guy coming at you like this, just grooving their way toward you, you're going to be scared. They're sending their vibes straight into your face. I know I couldn't fight someone like this. Too confident. How much to do read the browser while doing the Go Rock Squad? I mean, if I had someone else working the, uh, the thing for me. If you want me to narrate an unrelated workout video, you can commission me. <laughs> but anyway, as we're getting close to uh, 12 p.m. here, or 12 a.m. I want to thank you all very much for uh, stopping by this block tonight. It was a good time. It was a very good time. Even though half of it was actually not playing the game and just reading or dancing. But you know what? This isn't a uh, this isn't a uh, a race marathon. This is a charity marathon. And I think Brian would have approved of the stupidity going on here tonight every night so far. But just remember, doing a little bit of exercise, getting your body moving, that releases those endorphins. So even if you think that maybe that ranger is going to come and absolutely destroy you, at least you're feeling good about yourself in the meantime, you know? <laughs> yeah, what Nightbot says. But anyway, I hope you all have good nights. Ooh, stay tuned soon, very shortly. How long was the video I picked? Seven minutes, and I put it on loop. It's a seven minute uh, loop of the, the battle theme. Uh, stay tuned for uh, Chelsea playing more Fire Red uh, Randomizer. I missed last night's, but the first block was really fun. I'm going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> what if I just start the John block off with this? What if I just do that anyway? The song ended. Now double time! Da, 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 da. Anyway. I'm going to turn off the webcam. So, uh... Yeah, let me know uh, whenever you are good to go. And, uh, I'll, uh... What if you got John to do it in Rosa John cosplay? I don't think he has the cosplay complete yet. Okay, you're good? All right, thank you all very much for stopping by my block. Stay tuned for more goodness. And uh, I appreciate you all. And uh, 
Have a good night.